I was down. So don't discount the things that you're ashamed of or the things that you don't like about yourself. That is a lot of olive oil. So I'm really tired and haven't had any food, not supposed to have food till after 2 p.m. And I feel like my kidneys hurt. Probably didn't drink enough water today. Um, but I'm super tired. And I'm just about to drink the olive oil lemon juice. That is a lot of olive oil. I don't know if I can do that. That is a lot to choke. Oh crap. You know, usually it's not as bad as you think, right? You just, it's the thought that's worse. I don't want to have to taste the olive oil. I hope this doesn't kill me. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no way. Come on. No freaking way. You, you got this. You were so close. Look at that. It's almost gone. Round two. They said if I can't handle that, which I cannot handle that, cannot, then I can do a cup of apple juice with a fourth a cup of this. That I couldn't even swallow it. Not like you saw, I couldn't even swallow it. I just had to barf it out. Think you're gonna be able to do this one? I'm nervous that I might not be able to. Like drinking eggs. Oh, it just floats right to the top. Ew! It's gotta mix together. No, it's oil. Or I can't drink it. Oil always is at the top of liquid, huh? No, the, that can't happen. It's gotta be. It's gotta be mixed in, or I can't drink it. I'm gonna barf again. Drink it fast. Ready? Don't cut Set. yourself. Go. Okay, I can handle that. Not bad. That's just a lot of apple juice. Oh, that is way better. Who would drink that whole thing? <laughs> that is a lot of apple juice. <laughs> I'm supposed to chug this and then lay on my right side for at least a half an hour. And I said you can feel nauseous. And you might even barf. Uh, but that might not happen until the next day. And it's to get the gallstones out. Assuming, just assuming, I guess, that we all have them. Supposedly, the apple juice softens gallstones. So in the morning, I'm supposed to drink more apple juice. I'm supposed to drink a quart of apple juice today before two o'clock and I got it down me at 2.05. Boom. Bottoms up. Now we'll see if in the morning I've got cute little stones in the toilet. Wow. Should I video that? If you want to see my stones. Okay, he thinks he's so tough. You gotta take like a big drink of it. Like, I took a big thing of it. Yeah, that big. Oh, wow. Oh, whatever. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, it couldn't even, I couldn't even swallow it. It's pretty good. For reals? It's not, not bad. Oh my gosh. You're gonna poop out your gallstones. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I didn't pass any stones this morning. Maybe it'll be coming later. I don't know. But maybe my gallbladder is great. I don't know. Or maybe I did it wrong. I don't think so because I followed all the directions. So, February 6th, 2019, I start my 26 day detox. And this is where I this is what I weighed at the very beginning of the detox. And then I weighed myself every single day, mostly every single day. I lost 11 pounds. Let's see how many inches. So from the 23rd to halfway through my detox, I was down 144. So I was down eight pounds. But then here, I was down around an inch, a little over an inch from last time. I am in the range for normal weight now. I came from obese to overweight to now in ideal range. I feel like for me, it's not quite ideal. I feel like I've always been more in the 120s and so I'm really gonna try and get there but I feel like the next step is for me to commit to daily exercise and finding something that's fun for me and exciting for me. That's also something I'm excited for Hawaii. I will want to go outside. I will want to go hiking, swimming, kayaking. I will want to be active. That's what I'm excited about. Cause here I don't, I just don't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. So here I am, kind of at the other end of the spectrum. I feel so much better, I'm not tired, I'm happy, I don't feel depressed and hopeless, I don't feel ashamed of myself anymore. I just remember never wanting to go see anyone I knew. I was so ashamed of the way I looked, how, but mostly I was ashamed of my choices. I was ashamed that I could, that I neglected what I knew to do. And I just didn't want to go see anyone. I, if people hadn't seen me for like a year, I was like, there is no way I want them to see me right now. I just remember just not wanting, just not wanting people to see me. I disconnected myself from other people. I didn't, I didn't want to talk to other people. I felt, um, I just felt bad about myself. I felt like I was less than. I, I just really shamed myself for what, for the choices I had made. That's so sad, but you know what? It's okay. It's all part of a learning experience. We all have to go through it. If I didn't go through the pain of that, my pain was so strong that I believe that pain is gonna keep me for years to come from pain that I could have had. I don't wanna ever experience that again. And I'm grateful for that because that is what fuels me to make better choices every single day. So don't discount the things that you're ashamed of or the things that you don't like about yourself. That's fuel to be better, to be stronger. So you can see a lot of progress, a lot of progress, slow, but a lot of progress. And because it's slow, I know it's gonna stay because I'm committed to it. And that's what's so powerful about checking yourself along the way is so that when you get frustrated and you feel like nothing, what you're doing isn't making any difference, it does. It's the small and simple daily choices we make that make a huge difference. And it's taken me a long time to realize the power of small and simple choices. But they do have power and they do matter. And the little things you do each day to just be a little bit better, if you do that every day, man, you're gonna be an amazing person. And then you do that again, there's no stopping you. It's amazing what we can all become if we just choose to override our body's natural inclination to be lazy, to, be, to do the easiest thing possible. We gotta overcome that to be the kind of people we wanna be because that's the only way we can do it. You have the power to do it. 
I have the power to do it. We all have the power to do it. So get out there and be who you wanna be.